What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. Um, I know it's been a minute since I've done a little Dirk song. Probably, I probably dropped a little Dirk song like the day before I left for my vacation. I'm still here on vacation. I just haven't been very consistent of like trying to carve out time and, and step away to record. So I'm trying to be a little bit better about it. We got about 10 days left on our trip. So I'm going to see if in these next 10 days I can be uh, a little more consistent and drop in some music. So we got uh, we got Lil Dirk, Crossroads. And then right after this, I'm going to do another Dirk song, but with Vaughn. I think it's called Down Me. I got to double check it, but I'm going to try to drop back to back here. Um, and then at some point, I got to try and carve out like, 72 hours to react to the you know super documentary king vaughn thing which is like i think it's like three and a half hours long so i'll probably break it up into parts but yeah like I, i'm exaggerating it, it is long though so i'll have to break it up into parts but uh right now we're doing little dirk um crossroads i don't have the lyric video pulled up uh i'm just having some technical limitations while i'm on um vacation so i'm having to use my phone to record uh and then my laptop screen is like 14 or 15 inches so there's no space for me to have multiple windows i already have two windows that are taking up the whole thing so i apologize i don't have the lyrics um pulled up to kind of react better but i'm just going to try to listen as best as i can and see if i can catch everything that i'm supposed to catch all right so let's uh oh, let's make sure we don't forget to like and uh let's get going I know I'm stopping it probably right before he gets into his verse, but um, definitely a lot more of an emotional, sentimental uh, feel to this song. The way he's singing, the instrumental, uh, the lyrics that he's saying, don't want to be lonely, meet me at the crossroads. Um, I, I guess in this genre of music, I think they call this category pain music. I believe is how it's been referenced, but um, I, I like this so far. As you guys know on my channel, uh, this is the type of music that I definitely connect to more. Uh, it's easier for me to relate to this type of stuff, but let's see what the rest goes as he's getting into this verse. And I'm gonna miss everybody, Cabo, LA, everybody, Nooski, Fredo, everybody, honest, ain't they everybody, anybody, steady dropping, but you barely hear about it, and they can't take fear about it. Ooh. Hold up, there's bodies steady dropping but you barely hear about them okay dropping but you barely hear about it and they can't say they miss everybody cabo la everybody nooski fredo everybody honest say they dead body and his body steady dropping but you barely hear about it and they can't take fear about it oh i like we don't believe in jesus r.i.p could need a jinkers look what they doing to my people think it's funny why they tweak it. they gon' snake you they not eat that shit with fredo got me tweak they not crying they just tweet ain't no time to do no grieving broke a second on my pores you don't feel it when they die till it happen to yours so oh wow that was dope that was crazy 
I was stopping it to react to the previous part, but I stopped it right after possibly my favorite line on this track so far. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it just yet. I'm going to talk about the previous part. Um, the the flow and delivery on this part is very interesting because it almost feels um, like you can feel like pain and hurt through the voice. And it's really special when artists have the ability to um, communicate that not just with the words they're saying, but the way that their voice sounds, the inflection, the tone, the 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 slight wavering that you almost hear in the voice. Um, it, it really brings more power to the words that are being spoken, right? Uh, it's a very dope way to deliver it. Look what they doing to my people. Think it's funny Crazy. why they tweet. They gon' snake you. They not eat. That shit with Fredo got me tweet. They not crying. They just tweet. Ain't no time to do no grieving. Broke a second on my paws. You don't feel it when they die till it happens to yours. That line, this song is five years old. So five years puts it in like 2018 time frame, right? That that line by itself was probably more than accurate enough for that time. But I feel you take that line and you apply it to today and it's crazy. Like this whole concept of like people not feeling empathy for other people, not like being able to laugh at someone else's pain or someone else's loss or someone dying. Um, and this line by itself, like you don't feel it until it happens to yours. Um, and then see how funny it is and see how humorous it is that someone's passed away or someone is, is hurt or injured or whatever. Um, man, that line was crazy. Of course, you don't feel it when they die till it happens to yours. Yeah, but they got a choice. In the trenches, I didn't did it. I became a voice. See, I ain't changed. Oh, but that was cool. In the trenches, I did it. I didn't became a voice. Now, I, I, this is five years ago. I don't know exactly when his career started. Um, I'm assuming at this point he was already fairly big because this is 9.8 million. Like, obviously, a lot of views could have come after, but his nickname is the voice so i'm wondering if that was already a thing like he was already going by the voice as a nickname uh or as an alt alternate name um that would be a really cool reference there in that in that sequence in the trenches i didn't did it i became a voice see I ain't changed but i was going through changes pluto still be alive if he ain't hang with strangers niggas love you when you dead that shit the strangers skyla mm. and bella my two angels Yo, what's happening right now? I don't know what the reference is there on those two. I don't know. It looked like really young people. But um, part he said right before that, people love you the most when you're dead. I find that the strangest, um, especially in hip hop, like this whole like giving flowers when somebody's gone or giving appreciation when somebody's gone. But it's in everything, right? It's like uh, you you don't stay in touch with somebody and then you hear that they pass away and then all of a sudden they were like your best friend, um, and it's unfortunate but this is this is a lot of what happens right, um, man this song's powerful I really like this song a lot. Strangers, Skyla and Bella, my two angels, phone them at your roof like a fucking reindeer, so deep inside this hell hole it don't rain here. We love the same people, we ain't got the same tears. They don't understand me, don't think they can hear Spread the love We can't cause niggas die by Spread the love This time we said I die by Spread the love My niggas I by, die by Spread the love Too many niggas got by I'm so deep in Chicago, whoever thought I'd see friends If I ain't had beef, I think they'd be treat me like chance Oh, heads cannot mislead me, they know that I'm too advanced even though that I'm low key, got killers on my demand. That was interesting too. There, he said, if I didn't have beefs, they would treat me like Chance. Uh, I think he's referencing Chance the Rapper. Is Chance the Rapper out of Chicago as well? Um, I, th I think I'm not sure. I don't know much of. Actually, I don't think I know any Chance the Rapper songs off the top of my head, except for maybe features that I've heard. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if that's if that was accurate. Many niggas got by. I'm so deep in Chicago, whoever thought I'd see friends If I ain't had beef, I think they'd be treat me like chance Oh, heads cannot mislead me, they know that I'm too advanced Even though that I'm low-key, got killers on my demand Hey, 
You ever seen rats turn to snakes? You ever seen snakes turn to friends? I'm saying that shit happen every day. That's where we at, you know what I'm saying? We rap about it, but we got to. You know what I'm saying? I see people judging us, talking about. They always talking about guns, post a gun. They doing it for the money. I see, I came from shit, you know what I'm saying? So I do what I want. That's why Tupac was so great, you feel me? He spoke his mind. You ain't gotta be no gangster. Everybody with me ain't no gangster. You know I'm saying, everybody with me ain't no killers. Everybody with me don't get money. You know I'm saying, but we gonna make that shit work. We gonna put the money niggas with the money niggas. We gonna put the killers with the killers, you know what I'm saying? And let it get treacherous for niggas, you know? For real, for real. So I literally just talked about this on a on a Nicki Minaj song that I reacted to, which was like more of a, a serious, sentimental type of song, um, emotional type of song. And I was talking about this technique that's used in production where the voice is now done, but the the instrumental kind of plays a little bit longer than a typical fade out. Um, and it's just going to play and it, and it gives you a moment. I was saying in that video. Um, it gives you a moment to kind of like almost reflect on what you've just heard, right? Because if it ended right where the voice ended in a typical playlist or a track list, the next song would play right away, right? But in this type of sequence, like the the words are done, but now that instrumental is going to play and the instrumental itself can kind of entice or build on emotion that has already been enticed. Um, and then it gives you a moment to kind of be pensive and think about what you just heard. Uh, and then the music fades out. So it's a very cool uh, little trick or or tool that that producers use. Um, anyways, uh, that was awesome. I, I think this is possibly one of my favorite songs from him. Uh, I'm not going to go that far because I feel like there was another song I really liked from him. Maybe the F Father's Day one. I'll have to go back and listen to it and then compare them. But uh, if you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you next time.